What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector, and I dabble in crafting from time to time. Okay, I love crafting, and I craft all the time, which means I end up with a lot of scraps. So today, we're gonna do a little scrappy crafting and use them. I'm going to start out by cutting my fabric into long strips. These are from some of my larger scraps. I was able to get about an inch and a quarter wide strips. I remove the strips that are a little outside of my color palette. I'm gonna take this one too. Then arrange them in an order that I like. Starting with the first two strips, lay them good side to good side. Oops, that one has a cut in it. I have more of that fabric, so let's just cut another piece. Then lay them good side to good side and sew across one edge using a sewing machine or a needle and thread. To connect the two strips, I'm going to open my seams and iron them flat on the other side so the fabric lays flat. Take the next strip of fabric, line it up good side to good side with the previous strip and sew across the edge. Trim off the excess pieces, then continue adding the strips. And if they're too short, I just sew two together to extend them until we get a large piece of fabric made out of smaller pieces of fabric. We could leave it here or we can cut it into one and a quarter inch strips, then turn them around and sew them back together to create squares rather than stripes. We can even take a strip apart at the seams and change the order. To get a little more randomness in our quilt, I have a piece that is now about 14 by 14 and a half inches. There are a lot of things we can do with this because we pretty much just made our own fabric. With the good side facing up, we can lay another piece of fabric on top, sew around the edge using a straight stitch, leaving an opening so it can be flipped inside out. Sew the opening closed to make a miniature quilt. For our miniverse. Hmm, my wallpaper doesn't match. Let's go back to our pretty spring pastels and remove our magnetic wallpaper and replace it with a new print. What about that headboard? Since our headboard is removable, we can make a new one. Using jumbo craft sticks, I lay out a few that will reach across the bed. I make a small mark where the mattress will hit and trim a few of them down. I cut the ones in the center and left the ones on the sides. I have some leftover scraps of felt here. I cover each craft stick, gluing it on the other side. Cover them with fabric, lay them with the good side facing down, glue them together. I glued on some of the cut pieces for strength. Then we add two more so we can place them behind the bed and it's not very pretty, but it works. And we're gonna place it against the wall anyway, giving our room a new padded headboard. That's a lot of pattern for me, so we're gonna place the blanket folded at the bottom of the bed. Let's take our scrappy fabric, place another piece of fabric on top, so it's good side to good side, add a layer of felt, sew a straight stitch around the edge, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. Sew the opening closed to make a play mat for our miniature babies. Let's search through our wood bin for a leftover piece of a wooden dowel and some leftover strips of wood. And popsicle sticks could be a good substitute. This piece is a half inch wide. I'm cutting it to a quarter inch. I cut it into three inch pieces, cut four, take two, cross them at the top and glue them together. Repeat for the other two, cut the wooden dowel to be a little longer than the play mat, glue it between the other two pieces. I found these plastic rings. 
add string and beads to make baby Jim toys. I remove one of the sides to add the toys, then glue it back together to go over the play mat. So now we have a baby Jim with toys and a play mat. Let's bring out our silicone mat and make small drops of hot glue going around to make a circle. Once cooled, just remove them from the mat to make a teething ring. Let's add a couple of drops of hot glue to a toothpick, allowing them to drip just a little. Add a drop of hot glue to the silicone mat and push a jump ring inside. After a couple of attempts, I find that making a drop of glue first, then fold over the mat to flatten it a little, then gluing a jump ring on top works a little better. Take one of the drops off the toothpick and glue it to the disc to make miniature pacifiers. And I'm kind of scared that I'm going to lose them. So let's add some string and beads. And it works! We still have a little fabric left over. So let's take scraps of foam board or cardboard, cut rectangles, stack and glue a few together, cover with a few layers of felt, then cover with the fabric, gluing underneath, glue beads onto a toothpick, trim off the excess, leaving a point on one end, make a small hole for the toothpick, then put the toothpick into the cushion and glue it down to make a little footstool. And of course, we can always use scraps to make miniature pillows. All you need is a three or a two and a half inch square. I'm going to pair up two different prints, lay them good side to good side, sew around the edge, leaving an opening, make cuts at the corners, flip it inside out, add fluff, sew the opening closed, for reversible pillows. We can use our scrappy quilt material to make a skirt. I place it on another piece of fabric with the good side facing down, sew across the top and the bottom, trim off the excess, flip it inside out, make sure it can wrap around the doll and leave a little extra for Velcro and a seam allowance. I'm folding my edges in, sew on Velcro so we can make a little tube Place it on a doll inside out, then pinch and sew the corners. I open the seam and iron it flat to make a scrappy high-waisted skirt. And yes, I changed the wallpaper again. I am having too much fun experimenting with all these colors and patterns. Bear with me. We made space in the middle of the floor for our little play mat. We have our little gym with the toys and lots of bright colors leading into summer. Oh yeah. Thank you for joining us while we had fun making doll stuff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuffthefrogvlog and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.